On Monday, Colleen Rooney made a rare TV appearance on The One Show to announce her upcoming Disney Plus documentary. The WAG, 37, admitted she finally named Rebecca Vardy publicly after leaks from her own social media account to the Sun newspaper simply wouldn't stop. Her new show follows the headline-making Wagatha Christie trial. She said that while it may have been easier to overlook the problem, it had been going on for so long, she told hosts Alex Jones and Jermaine Genus. I put out warning posts indicating that someone was leaking my private information, but it just didn't stop. It kept happening, and I just had enough, and I just wanted it over with, the person said. Despite knowing that the incident and its fallout would be big, Colleen continued, I never imagined it turning into a worldwide phenomenon, with the phrase Wagatha Christie even entering the vernacular. Regarding the aftermath, she admitted that there were times when she wished it would go away, but continued to fight. Prior to the program's Wednesday premiere on Disney+, Plus, the most recent bombshell trailer for Colleen Rooney. The real Wagatha story was revealed. In the disturbing teaser, Colleen is seen sobbingly disclosing information about her inquiry into another wag and revealing the facts of her quest to discover who was giving the Sun newspaper information about her personal life. Colleen is heard in the video urging Jamie Vardy's wife, Don't play games with a girl who can play better after admitting that the issue, which started with a Twitter post on October 9th, 2019, was constantly on her mind. Along with Piers Morgan, Colleen's mother Colette and her friends, who shed light on the drama's hardships, Wayne, Colleen's husband, is featured in the trailer. Stock footage of both women entering the High Court carrying their husbands was also shown in the teaser. Other clips showed people yelling, Your wife is a grass! as Jamie took the field during the trial. When questioned if she still had the post on her phone, Colleen replied, Yeah, 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 I stand behind them, the speaker said, before the video moved, to show the pair walking into court over the sound of a news report. Wagatha Christie starts today at the High Court, the reporter wrote. Copywags and former friends are embroiled in a bitter row. Someone was telling the Sun newspaper about Colleen's private posts and stories through her personal account, so she decided to take action. Colleen could be seen hard at work, laying out pages with postings from the private page and pictures of her family, which consists of Wayne, 37, and their children, Kai, 13, Clay, 10, Kit, and Cass, 5. This is a detective story. You never find someone responsible with a smoking gun in their hand, one of the movie commentators observed, before later admitting, I never imagined being in a legal battle, Colleen explained. I needed evidence. I had to set a trap. The camera team joined her in her car, where she pointed out the paparazzi pursuing her. Colleen revealed the message Rebecca famously sent her, further clarifying the situation. I had a message off Rebecca saying, what is this? And I said, you know what it is. It was never far from my thoughts. She disclosed that her father had remarked, you're just not you anymore. Wayne made the following statement to the camera as his opening statement. I just thought, what is she doing here? While laughing incredulously. Rebecca is alleged to have filed a trademark application for the name Wagatha prior to the release adding fuel to her protracted legal dispute with Colleen Rooney. The 41-year-old media personality registered the phrase Wagatha Christie, which alludes to the vicious brawl between the two wags six months ago. After Colleen alleged, in October 2019, that Rebecca's social media account was leaking allegations about her to the press, Rebecca sued Colleen for libel, but lost. The story started when The Sun published several false pieces on Colleen between September 2017 and October 2019 that were sourced from Colleen's personal Instagram account. The Liverpoolian celebrity asserted that she only told Vardy the tales as part of a sting operation, 
including the claims that she visited Mexico to research baby gender selection therapy, hatched a scheme to restart her TV career, and had flooding in her basement. Colleen accused the leaks on Twitter and Instagram, while Rebecca and her husband Lester Stryker Jamie, 36, were on vacation in Dubai. I felt physically ill at the time, Rebecca recalled. It has to have been the biggest panic attack, in my opinion. I was completely surprised. What will we do next? The million-dollar question is that I was baffled as to why somebody would act in that manner. Why would someone do it knowing that person was weak and that action would have consequences? It's going to generate a huge ES asterisk 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 storm, and that's exactly what happened. Rebecca insisted, the first time I read about the flooded basement was in the Daily Mail online. She was alluding to a bogus report about a leaky basement of Colleen's new Cheshire property. It's amazing how I keep getting blamed for that. Where are the signs that read, Give this to the sun if I were selling stories? Make sure I get paid for this. They are where. Since they don't exist, there are none. The next year in June, it was made public that Rebecca was filing a libel lawsuit against Colleen, which had already been active since November. London hosts the first High Court hearing in the libel case. Colleen's post from October 2019 clearly identified Rebecca as being guilty of the serious and consistent breach of trust, according to a judge's ruling. Rebecca regularly and frequently abused her status as a trusted follower of Colleen's personal Instagram account by secretly informing the son of Colleen's private posts and stories, according to Mr. Justice Warby, who draws this conclusion from the post's natural and ordinary purpose.